What's going on, guys? It's me, JV, coming to you live this Saturday night on this on this uh, August seventeenth, I think it is, two thousand twenty-four. And uh, here I am, another lonely and pathetic, depressing Saturday night for me. And uh, I just got off uh, work about an hour ago, and here I am, just hanging out by myself wondering what is the purpose of life what is the meaning of life you know i just uh, ponder that question every day every day that goes by i, I ask myself the same question what is the, our part uh, what is our purpose here in this on this planet why are we even here you know it, were we here are we a uh, a cause of uh, of an accident that took place and uh we probably were not meant to be on this earth, but here we are. And uh, at the end of the day, for all of us, each and every one of us, the planet, uh, our life, we're all going to die. Our life is going to end one day, sooner or later. Sooner or later, our lives are going to end. And I ask myself every day the same question. It's not, it's, not, it's not making any difference if I turn the light on or not. It's a little bit after 8 o'clock in the evening. And I do feel a little bit depressed. I feel down. I'm actually drinking a beer right now, but I can't uh, take a zip because if I do, if I take a sip right now and if a cop sees me, I may get a DUI. So I put it away right now. But uh, yeah, I feel pretty depressed. I feel lonely. I feel like, you know, I ask myself that question again and again and again. What am I doing here? What is the meaning of life? What is the end game? <clears throat> because it gets harder and harder as you get older it becomes more difficult to really find a meaning to life especially for a 45 year old lonely man like myself that doesn't have any kids that doesn't have a wife that doesn't have a family i mean in, when i say a family i'm talking about like an immediate family like a family that you can rely on day in and day out like your sons and daughters type of a family is what I mean. And uh, when you get older, like I am, it does become more and more of a challenge. And you you got to ask yourself the question, you know, what are we, what are, what am I doing here? And um, yeah, I hate these Saturday nights, man. I really do. I'm one of those few people, I think, that, that uh, is not, doesn't look forward to, to Saturday nights or Friday nights, because I know that Eventually, I'm going to be lonely here, like an absolute loser, a 45-year-old loser, I feel, depressed and lonely on this Saturday night. I think that's what I'm going to title my video, because this is the way that I feel right now. But um, anyway, what are you going to do? Sometimes I get these uh, depressions. Sometimes I get these depression attacks. I, I you know, I feel lonely at times, and the, the, and the depression just gets to me. And um, before the advent of the internet, I really didn't have an opportunity to express the way that I felt uh, through videos or, or vlogs or anything like that, like I do now. But ever since the advent of YouTube and other platforms, other social media app, uh, platforms where you have an opportunity to express your feelings, express your frustrations, and ponder the question as to what is the end game for all of us human beings, once our physical, uh, once our physical um, makeup is is over, once it ceases to to operate, what's next? You know, nobody has ever come back from the dead and told us precisely what is on the other side of death. And there's been a lot of theories. There's been a lot of postulates uh, about you know the fact that uh, some people believe that. There is a kingdom out there where we actually spend eternity, depending on our uh, our deeds, depending on on how we comported ourselves throughout the course of our physical existence. This is like a test. This is like an exam to determine whether or not we're going to be worthy of spending the rest of eternity on planet Earth or actually with with God. And then there's other people 
and other theories and other other uh, other ways of thinking in which cheers mate i got my my drink here but i, I gotta put it in the back before i actually drop it but there's other people that say to themselves you know once we die it's all over that's it it's over it's like you go into a coma it's like you go into a dark room and nothing happens you're dead it's all over there's no consciousness there's no soul that's able to detect that your physical being has already your physical existence has already vanished has already ended and now we're just gone forever so the, those are the two sides of the story those are the two sides of the coin those are the two arguments that people make regarding life after death and uh throughout the throughout my adulthood i've always asked myself that question you know what is the meaning of life what is our purpose here what is the end game what is what is the what is the point of even living for any for each and every one of us when we know that sooner or later eventually we're all gonna die it's all, it's gonna be all she wrote it's gonna be over and no matter how how much wealth you amass no much no matter how much success you you gain no matter how much fame and glory you achieve in this physical realm that we live in at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because we're all going to be dead our physical existence will be forever gone unless you're one of those people that believes in reincarnation then you might be coming back but you're certainly not going to come back in this same format you're not going to come back you know with your same gender and your your same race and your same social economic status you may not even come back in the same realm that we are accustomed to you know our own reality the reality that we are aware of so those are the questions that i ponder on a daily basis and now that i'm a loner and that i'm 45 years old i'm not suffering from midlife crisis I want to reiterate that I am not suffering from midlife crisis. I think that this is an issue that I've been experiencing really since I was in my teenage years, since my adulthood. It's something that happens from time to time where I get depressed and I get sentimental. And on, on a Friday night or on a Saturday night when people are out and partying, you know, when people are out having a good time at a public restaurant or at a club or bars or what have you, that's when I get depressed and, and it was and ever since I was in high school and ever since I was in college that's the way I felt I really really um I'm looking for a word but I can't even think of it uh, I'm, I'm looking for the correct word to to say here but I I loathe I loathe Friday nights and Saturday nights I didn't like them I didn't want to see them in my life. I would rather have it be Monday morning so that I would be able to go to school and forget about my depression and just, you know, focus on my studies, focus on my education on the, in the classroom rather than have to, uh, you know, just sit there idle and think about my weekends, my lonely weekends. And uh, I've been suffering with this issue ever since. But here I am on a very very nice looking saturday night it's a little bit overcast here in the in the bay area i'm in the bay area for those of you that are that have never seen my videos and it's an we got the marine layer coming in it, it feels like it's uh later on in the evening than it actually is and that's because of the over the layer of the uh, the marine layer that's uh, hovering over us now but right now it's about 8 30 in the evening and uh I got my uh, my beer here. I'm probably this is the first alcoholic beverage, by the way. This is the first alcoholic beverage that I've had since 2021. Since September of 2021, when I had a when I was down in Lima, Peru, I visited Lima, Peru, and I had a 
a very popular beverage down in South America called Pisco. And uh, the Pisco is basically like, uh, I don't know what would you call it, mezcal, a combination of mezcal and, uh, and tequila. I know it's not the same thing. I know it doesn't ha contain those ingredients. I don't think people in Peru actually drink that. But it has uh, like cinnamon at the top, it has a little bit of cinnamon on the top and has like foam and you drink it and it's very, I mean, I didn't like it to be honest with you because I don't like alcohol, but uh, a lot of people actually enjoy drinking that, that beverage. And that was the last time I had an alcoholic drink. September of 2021, it's been almost three years. I can't believe it. But uh, my depression is, is pretty deep right now. Uh, I, I feel pretty depressed, but uh, I think I'm going to survive. I think I'm going to make it through the rest of my Saturday night. And because I got to I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I got to go back to work. I'm hoping to go to the gym at 6 in the morning. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wake up at 6, but I'm, that's my plan is to wake up at 6 a.m. Go to the gym for a couple of hours before I start work. So we'll see if uh, I'm able to actually wake up that early. But yeah, that's, you know, this is how I feel right now on a Saturday night. I turn, I'm looking around and there's nobody here. Only a couple of flags to my left and that's about it. The rainbow flag uh, representing the LGBTQ community and then the American flag. And ironically, they're side by side. I don't know why they're side by side. The American flag should be at the very top. It should be flying aloft on the pole and then you should have like the... Uh, LGBTQ rainbow flag below it. But anyway, I digress. That was just an observation that I had. But here I am recording a vlog on a Saturday night. Today, by the way, is August 17th, 2024. And uh, we're getting ready for the end of another week. But anyway, guys, just wanted to uh, express my frustrations, express my depression, and ask the question, do you, do you guys believe, what do you guys think of the after death or the afterlife, I should say? What do you, what do you um, expect that's going to happen to all of us human beings? Let me know in the comment section. If you're still watching my video this, this, further, this far into the video, I really appreciate it. I, I also would like for you guys to help me out by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. That would go a long way in growing the community. I will be back, I promise. This will not be my last <laughs> video, I will be back. But I'm just curious to know, what do you guys think of the afterlife? Do you think there is a kingdom out there waiting for us, depending on how we behave on this planet? Or do you believe that once we die, it's all over? It's, that's, there's nothing after, after, um, after the, uh, our death our physical death. There's nothing left. And uh, we go into the ether of the universe and, and we disappear forever. Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I will not get into a DUI. I'm going straight home and I'm going to eat dinner and I'm going to go to sleep. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep and talk to my girlfriend later on tonight. Take it easy, guys. Thank you for watching.